25-year-old Rafia, not her real name, is not just pregnant. She's carrying the dreams of a couple. The single mother of a five-year-old tells me her search for greener pastures led her to migrate from Kumasi to Accra. But she realized grass is not always green at the other side. Her friend then gave her an idea, surrogacy, one that would change her life forever. How does that make you feel knowing that you're delivering a baby, a part of you, that to a family that you never, you probably never might ever meet again in your life? I don't have a problem with that. I believe there's a family out there who needs the baby. And they are ready to have this baby because they have a home. I never had that kind of family. I never really grew up with a family, you know. So if there's someone out there who's spending a lot of money just to have a baby, and I have the power to make that possible for them, I don't have a problem with that. According to the UN, Surrogacy as a reproductive practice is on the rise. It refers to a form of third-party reproductive practice in which intended parents contract a surrogate mother to give birth to a child. Financial compensation is one of Rafia's motivation for undergoing this process. She's likely to rake in between 30 and 50,000 CDs to carry a couple's child. This is minus the housing and feeding costs for the entire duration of the pregnancy. This for me is an opportunity. You know, I don't have to go, I don't have to follow any man, I don't have to date anyone, I don't have to be in bed with anyone. So for me, the money aspect is also very important. At least, at the end of all of this, I'll get some capital to start something with it. But this process is not as easy as it looks. Issues such as the exploitation of surrogates and the rights of all parties involved need careful consideration. This is where Deborah Saka, a liaison officer at Minche Child and Family Welfare Services, comes in. A lot of people also are coming to the realization that it's, it's an alternative that exists and it's a safe alternative, um, especially when it's an agreement between consenting adults um, for one person to help the other, of course, for um, whatever financial benefits there are. It also helps somebody to gain that family that they have always wanted. She and her team have been instrumental in helping families and potential surrogates navigate through the entire process. We put word out on social media every once in a while for um, people that are interested in carrying pregnancies to come on board to contact us and so we put the word out and then we wait for them to come. She explains what qualifies one to be a potential surrogate. To be a surrogate you have to be within the age of 21 and 32 years and um, you must have had a child at least you must have had one child that is still living um, the, the living part is because when you have gone through the surrogacy bit and you have given up the child that you carried for nine months, we want you to be able to go back home to your own. You definitely cannot have any form of um, illnesses or diseases if they are and are able to carry this pregnancy to term without problems. You must also be unmarried. With no clear-cut laws governing the practice in Ghana, legal experts face the daunting task of ensuring the protection and rights of all parties involved. Once that agreement is in place, the pregnancy has taken place, you can go to court for a pre-birth parentage order. So what that order does is that it names the legal parents of the child that will be born from the surrogacy arrangements. So if you have that order before the child is born, the intended parents, if they are the applicants, are named by the court as the intended, as the legal parents of the child born through the surrogacy arrangement. So without that pre-birth parentage order, the surrogate's mother, the woman who carries the child, is assumed to be the mother of the child. Pope Francis in January called surrogate motherhood deplorable and advocated for a global ban. Some countries like Italy have approved a bill to criminalize surrogacy abroad. 
Now, in the absence of well-defined statutes, legal minds and stakeholders in health are drafting makeshift agreements to safeguard the interests of surrogates, the intended parents, and most importantly, the unborn child. However, the question of parental rights post-birth remains a complex issue. Now, society's perception, luckily, is also evolving, which is slowly accepting surrogacy as a legitimate means to family building. Now, this change of attitude is paving the way for more open conversations and potentially for formal legislation that will provide clarity and security for those involved. Now, if you had the chance, would you opt for surrogacy? Imano Samani, TV3 News.